awesome person welcome back to my channel if you're new here that's awesome then just welcome to my channel my name is joy i do unboxings makeup try-ons and i throw in all kinds of things to keep you on your toes and today we are doing another mask monday and for this mask monday i'm going to use one of my favorites again it's the powerful peel off black mask and charcoal so I am going to use this foundation brush that I received um, from Gracie Lee Cheryl because I don't use foundation brushes and a couple of people told me that these were great for masks and that's what I'm going to try it for and we're going to see. Alright, I do need a mirror because I'm trying to look in, <laughs> trying to look in my camera. I'm also trying to, I've been noticing a lot that it looks like I'm looking off this way instead of this way, and it's because I've not been looking at my camera piece. I found out. I thought I was. Honestly, I thought, I couldn't understand why, <laughs> and I recently found out that, yeah, I was um, looking at the wrong spot, so I'm going to try to do that more often so it looks like when I do look up and when I do talk to you guys that, you know, I'm actually talking to you, I'm not I'm talking to the wall. Okay, so I just end up pausing everybody and going in because this brush, I think they mean that it is good for like the non-peel-off masks. This one that comes with this peel-off mask is what I end up having to finish with because it was making a huge mess. So it wasn't like wasn't spreading evenly all over my whole face like the plastic one did so i did clean it up thank goodness like it got cleaned up i was afraid but i hurry up and washed it all right so for what we're going to do for this mask monday is open up my miss a haul that i got a couple of days ago and i have been waiting patiently to open her up and see what we have inside is my second haul. I didn't get much makeup this time. A lot of this stuff is going to be Christmas presents. So um, uh, I couldn't go wrong with the price. So you pull it out like this. Look at how packaged this is. Now they have free shipping on $35 or more. And I spent, I think I spent like 48 bucks and got like 42 products or something like that. So let me tell you, I love this place. It's super cool. I don't like their um, eyebrow pencil anymore. It's a dollar, but it only lasted me like seven times, six or seven times at the most. And it was empty. I understand it's only a buck, but come on. Like it should be a last a little longer than seven times. You know, that's like one week for a dollar. I don't know. I'd rather pay a couple more bucks and get something that lasts me a whole month. So the first thing I'm pulling out of here is the Smoky Eyeshadow Collection. So I cannot swatch any of this stuff because, you know, it is mostly Christmas. And then I have the um, Rose Eyeshadow Collection. And they are by um, JK or Just Floor. And I have the pink collection by Santee. Isn't that pretty packaging? Pretty, pretty packaging. And the palettes cost more. Now, the last time I made a video, I said I didn't see anything over like $215 or $255 or something like that. This time, I found all kinds of things. But I didn't find anything over $12. So, I got this headband this headband. It's so packaged in here. Really, really good. I got lip care and avocado. Okay. I got a face mask. Yeah, some colorful bobby pins. I guess they're colored on one side and white on the other. And 
I do have a couple of stickers here, but if I show them to you, the people I'm giving them to might be able to figure out they're theirs. So I'm not doing that. Then I have this um, Sweet Treats Cotton Candy Lip Balm. And this is for my granddaughter. I could tell you that this is for my granddaughter. <laughs> She's going to love it. And then I have this um, Sanity Matte Lipstick. That's like a pinkish red color. And then I got some more natural lip oil. I got a, another um, Santee matte lipstick, and that's more of a mauve pink, I think is what you would call it. And then I have this um, Malibu Glitz Fruit Lip Balm. That is for my granddaughter also. Okay. Uh, alrighty. I'm going to grab all of these at one time. Take me just a second. Okay. So then I got these cute socks. Christmas socks. I think I bought eight pair of them. Some of them are doubles. I wonder if that one was a double. Um, okay, it don't look like it. Some of them were doubles. So I tried to show you doubles at the same time. Uh, all right. Those are doubles. And then, so I got two pair that were doubles, and then I got this pair, this pair, and this pair. So I got four singles, because here's the first one I showed you, and then two pairs that were doubles, and then um, another face mask. And a cute little hair tie. Another cute little hair tie. Another cute hair tie. And then this is another hair tie type thing. I'm not sure how you use it, but I thought it was cute. And then I have this Amuse Cosmetic Matte Lipstick in the shade. I can't read the shade, it's too small. And then got queen earrings. Got an earring set. Okay, another necklace. another necklace and another necklace and a boss set another necklace some earrings another package earrings another cute little necklace These cute earrings, another package of cute earrings, another necklace. So that is my shop in Miss A haul. That went quicker than what I thought it was going to. So let's see. I still have quite a while before this is completely dry. I can tell it's only starting to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and pause you guys and I will be right back as soon as it is ready to peel off. Alrighty. I am back and it is time to peel this off of my face. So it has already started to come off down here, which actually makes it easier. I got on my lips, which I'm very sensitive. I think that's sensitive areas around my eyes, but I use this brush thing <sighs> everywhere. You always do one, two, and three, my brother. One, two, and three, two, four. Oh. <laughs> it hurts. Look at my eyes watering. I thought about. I'm just like, I'm gonna. I wasn't. I was starting it the right way, but I liked it. 
I'm not washing it off and starting over, I just took the other one. And uh, I tried to fix it, and I'm changing it on the desk. Hold it. Uh, I tried to just wash it off and start over, because I think it's probably the most painful one I have dealt with yet. So, whew, now that that's over with, <laughs> let's get my little wipe to clean off the rest of my face. Okay. I really love these, but I'm going to say that normally it's thicker when I spread it around with the plastic spatula that it's supposed to come with because this thinned it out a lot and I know you're supposed to put a thin layer, but I'm going to guess I've never had as thin of a layer as the, what I just had today because it's never been that sensitive to pull off. That hurt. I can't even lie about it. All right, so that is what my face looks like after I tortured it and peeled off that face mask. But yes, it's still going to be one of my favorite face masks to use. I'm just now going to know to only use the correct spatula thing with it. But I will try this out for the cream ones that you wash off. I think that's going to be a lot easier. And come to think of it, when I was watching these people do it and then people were telling me you could use it, they weren't using it for peel off masks, so my bad. Alrighty, guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome. Peace.